Summer is here, so why not make it your best yet? Here are some tips and tricks on how to help you sail through summer with a smile is good housekeeping executive editor, Megan Murphy. Welcome back. Yeah. Great to see you. Happy summer. Hi. Big grin. So what do we need to do? All right, so I've got some tricks for you. Do you have a problem with bugs? Well, always. Right? So you take a dryer sheet and you stick it in a cup while you're at the picnic table. There's a citronella-like substance in the dryer sheet that makes bugs buzz off. Oh, wow. Is that right? true? It's super true. But is it just not going to go in the cup or will no, it buzz I mean, off of the whole table? I mean, smell that. It's pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do more than one cup. But another solution is coffee grinds. This is actually recommended yes. by the EPA. Some restaurants put it's that on the table. It's a natural bug repellent. Yeah. So you can sprinkle it by the table or by your doors and the entranceways to keep the bugs from coming in. Huh. And, and is this after you drink your coffee well, and you tease so the bathroom? If you want to, <laughs> good thinking. But if you want to upcycle the can, anybody camp, transporting to toilet paper, is a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. um, it can get mushy, it can get wet, so yeah, you just. Wet. So, this is for all you campers out there. Oh, you put it in Yes, the... you could even fit That's reading amazing. material in there potentially. Ryan, the next time you go camping, yeah. you should take your toilet paper camping. and put I've been it in your coffee can. I'm looking for this all my life. Okay, I have a lot of kids, and when they eat an ice pop, it drips down right. their hands. How many Not kids do you have now? Just three. <laughs> just three. Yeah, but anything. And, and my right. bonus too, right, right here. Right, exactly. Right here. So, this is so that doesn't get all over your wrist and your arm. It's a drip catcher. Oh, cool. Oh, that's very that. cool. I mean, okay, you go to the beach and you take the beach home with you. You're covered in sand. Baby powder yes. is the ultimate. It absorbs that moisture so the sand brushes right off you. Mm -hmm. I also like to pack a paintbrush in my beach bag. Huh. Because you know how the toys get so sandy? Oh, you, you can, can brush right, them yeah. off, brush sure. off your chair so you're not taking home the beach. Since I was putting it in my beach bag, I also like blinged it up a little bit with some stickers and washi tape just to make it cute. Cool. That's cool. very right? cute. Okay, corn. It's not 100%. If it's not fresh, it's not totally in season, you can add a little powdered milk to it mm. while you're boiling it, and it's going to make it a little bit sweeter and a little bit fresher tasting. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, I'm from New Jersey. I'm going to throw a flag on the play. I don't think uh, I don't think well, the GH I'm going to test kitchen stands behind it. Okay, well, I'm going to take issue with that. I'm going to show up and do a spot check in there. <laughs> Okay, so this is fun. It's like a koozie? Bubble wrap is the ultimate insulator. All of these little pockets, it doesn't matter if it's big or small. Oh, that's fun you to play with. Here she goes. Drink, Here and it she keeps comes. cold things cold and hot things <laughs> hot. It's like an instant cozy, <laughs> and it keeps your hands from Kelly. getting too cold. There it goes. Fire with it. Fire with it. Now, okay. there she Oh, start popping it. You're like my kids. So this is a s'mores emergency. You're about to go make <laughs> s'mores, and oh my goodness, all of my marshmallows are stuck together. First thing first, when you store them, store them in an airtight bag in the freezer. You want to freeze your marshmallows oh. so this doesn't happen. Wow. But once this happens, you put your marshmallows in a plastic bag. What happened to your marshmallows? Oh, oh my gosh, this was They're, just in my pantry. I had very used dry. them winter, and then I went to go make s'mores, and what the heck? They're like... So you put a little corn. It's, it's, like, like, it's a like a rock. All right, so we put a little cornstarch yeah. in here, and yeah. then you're just gonna shake it till you make it. They will eventually fall no apart. No kidding. Is that true? Okay. Okay, okay, patio furniture. If you have plastic patio furniture, how come your bubble wrap doesn't pop? It's adult kids. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> So you've got plastic patio furniture yeah. or that synthetic wicker. You take a little bit of vinegar and a spray bottle, equal parts water and vinegar, and you can clean it, get rid of the mildew and the mold, spritz, spritz, spritz. Okay. Wow. Right, there you Good. go. And Great. the flip-flop. Okay, this is an impromptu door opener. Let's check this out. So you're having a party, the door doesn't stay open. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, it's like a door stop. You just jam it under there. Right. It's an instant door stop. It's also a great way to stop the kids from fighting. <laughs> when you're driving the car, stop fighting with your brother. <laughs> I like hey, it. I like just it. Saying. Great to see you. Happy summer. Thank Thanks you for guys. coming. Summer, yeah, thank you. Be sure to pick up a copy of Good Housekeeping available now.